Ms. Ressa and Mr. Muratov are receiving the Peace Prize for their courageous fight for freedom of expression in the Philippines and in Russia. Recognition for two journalists from countries where investigative reporting is always difficult and sometimes deadly. Maria Ressa. With her digital platform Rappler, she's investigated President Rodrigo Duterte's violent anti-drug campaign. As editor-in-chief of the newspaper Novaya Gazeta, there aren't many aspects of Russia's politics, corruption and crime that Dmitry Muratov hasn't looked into. Over the years, six colleagues have been murdered for their work, and he honoured them. This award is for Anna Politkovskaya, Yuri Shukokin, Igor Domikov, Anastasia Baburova, Stas Markalov, Natasha Estemirova, our fallen colleagues who gave their lives for the profession. I am not the right beneficiary of this prize. The rules are very clear. News organizations lost our gatekeeping powers to technology platforms. Uh, the, those platforms abdicated responsibility for the public sphere. And that has made facts debatable because the data, facts and lies, are actually treated equally. In fact, the algorithms of the world's largest distributor uh, of news, Facebook, actually uh, favors lies laced with anger and hate. That spreads faster and further than facts. For some who watch the Nobel Peace Prize and its regular controversies closely, this year's decision is a welcome one. Bullseye gets uh, obviously well deserved, uh, and it's two candidates that uh, that both have uh, done exceptional work in their home uh, countries. But this is also a prize that speaks to the larger issue: the larger issue of press freedom, uh, the larger issue of uh, countering fake news. And welcome news too for those hoping to see more women winning an award that seldom come their way. We have always paid attention to the women, but uh, in a time where there was a much worse gender equality situation than it is today, naturally it is difficult to find the worthy contributor being a woman. In selecting these two winners, the Nobel Committee has made a statement. It says freedoms of information and expression matter. They matter to democracy, they matter to peace, and so they matter to billions of us.